Today's Spotlight Coding activity enables you to model and monitor a disease outbreak using a programming language called Python. In this particular activity, we'll be solving the case of the glowing nose. Now this particular activity is brought to us by Grok Learning and will be linked in the description below. Ready? Let's get into it! Through the series of activities that introduce you to the Python language, you will gradually learn how to display text, request information, and ultimately code for the information that was requested in order to perform a task. On the left here, we have some basic instructions including any background information as well as your goals for the current activity. And on the right, we're going to have a workspace in order to practice and run our code in. If we take a look at this first example, printing a warning, we will learn how to code in order to print something for the end user to view. What's great about many of these activities is that they start you off slowly. That's definitely a plus when learning these new computing languages. As you can see here from our sidebar, we can start with the basic task of writing code that simply prints a message on the screen. We then learn how to request information, which is the name for the cat, and eventually write code to have your computer actually do something with this information. In this quick example that I'll demo here, I need to write up some quick code to ask the user for the number of already infected cats and then report back the number of cats that will be infected with this disease within the next hour. According to background information, the doubling time happens to be an hour. This is what we'll have the code factor in as we code for a calculation to occur. Alright, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is go into my workspace and start my code. And what I'm going to do here is start with the variable and then I'm going to ask for a number because I want to know how many cats are infected. So to do this, I'm going to start with my variable. I'm going to call this variable infected. And then because I'm asking for a number, I'm going to type in int for integer over here and then request the input. And all of this I'm typing in, I already learned through the first uh, three tutorials of this activity. So I'm going to put an input and I need to ask the user a question. So I'm going to go ahead and ask how many cats are currently infected and then this is going to request that information from the user and store that number in the variable called infected. So what this does is ask the user to input a number and what our code is going to do is take that number, store it as a variable that we called infected here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have our code perform work and report it back out. Remember, we need to take the variable we just entered, which was a number, and pass it as a calculation and a statement. So what I'm going to do is just integrate the two together. So I'm going to start with the print command. So I'm going to print our statement and start that off. I'm going to say, good luck with this one. In one hour, you will have, and then we have to enter our calculation here. So I'm going to end it right there. And I'm going to insert the variable and we're going to perform that calculation. So I'm going to say infected times 2 because we have a doubling of the number of cats infected in one hour. And I'm going to have a continuous statement here. So I did my calculation right there where it says infected times 2. And then I'm going to say cats doomed. That's real light. So I'm going to go ahead and close these off. And then I'm going to hit enter, and then let's try to run this code. So it asks for how many cats are currently infected. I'm going to say 5. It says, good luck with this one. In one hour, you will have 10 cats doomed. And there you have it. Time to do that happy dance. So, are you looking for more Hour of Code activities? Check out code.org, scroll down just a little bit, and click on Hour of Code. Also, you can check out our district site located at www.vvsd.org slash hourofcode for more activities that our team has found and highly recommend, such as this one.